What's up friends, it's Bolt Farcore. As you can tell by the title, today I'm going to be talking about some uh, different things than I usually do. So this is basically talking about the uh, recent um, uh, people that have been uh, found out to be uh, pedos or groomers or whatever you want to call it. Um, now I just want to say right now that I'm not defending these people in any way and I'm not going to be defending these people since they have messed up tremendously and... Um, I really wish they didn't since I really enjoyed watching them and uh, most of them are going to leave the platform and uh, probably have to find a new uh, new profession or something. But um, yeah, let's start off with um, with 2020 before we get into that. Um, so far, 2020 has not been the most fun year. Um, for me, it hasn't really affected me um, since I've kind of just been, you know, alone at home um, doing all my things. It hasn't really done much for me. Like, I've seen all the news and all that, and I felt really bad, but um, it wasn't like a affecting me personally kind of thing. Um, this thing that has happened recently is one of the first things of 2020 that has actually affected me personally. Now, I'm not saying that I care more about this than uh, some of the other crazy things, like some of the mass shootings and all that are way more important than this. Well, you know, this is very important, but, uh, you know, that's a little bit more important, you could say. Um, I don't want to make anyone's, uh, stories of, uh, or statements of, uh, getting sexually abused. Um, I don't want to put those down below other things, but, you know, there are other things that have happened inside this year that are, uh, pretty bad too. But, uh, yeah, the, the Smash stuff and, um, just everything in general on the, uh, people getting called out for their bullshit has really kind of messed with my, uh, that's my way of thinking about people. Um, I am kind of a routine-oriented person. I focus a lot on making videos at a certain time, or at least trying to, unless my uh, family members get into the way of that. Or, um, you know, kind of like everything, I like to organize it. And some of those things are watching specific YouTubers and, uh, you know, following them and uh, trying to learn more about the game. Now, the past, like, year and a half, or since Smash Ultimate came out, I have really focused on uh, trying to improve at the game. I've put a lot of time into it, and I'm far from perfect. I uh, know a lot of the, uh, a lot of the characters' uh, basics, but I don't dedicate myself to, like, hardcore tech or anything, so I'm not really that good. But I have a lot of fun with the game, and that's all that matters. And uh, some of the people that have made me enjoy that game even more are a variety of uh, Smash YouTubers. Few of those including Keitaro, Nairo, Zero, and uh, pretty sure a few others, but uh, those are the real ones, um, the real people that have been called out that uh, have affected me personally. I know there are a crazy amount of other people, and not just the Smash community, I'm pretty sure Relax Relax or something. I don't know. Um, I was getting really bummed out by it and uh, didn't really like it, so I ended up uninstalling Twitter since um, I kind of do that on a regular basis whenever something happens and I'm on Twitter, just looking at all the people talking, and uh, um, I'm not really up for that. I, I've never been really much for um, social media. I prefer to uh, get my voice out there through talking, since I can uh, correct myself, and uh, you know, people can ask questions, and it's it's different than writing it down, because I think talking personal um, or personally um, is a little bit more um, personal, which I like. But um, yeah, it really sucks. It really does, just like, suck a whole lot of donkey balls. Um, I looked up to those people quite a bit. Um, I won't say that I, like, thought they were, like, mentors or anything, but uh, I really enjoyed watching their content, and it um, it really sucks on how that happened. And uh, hopefully they learned from their mistakes, and, uh, yeah. Now, a few of them didn't do things that I think are as grave as some of the other um, people, like, most of, uh, well, all the people that uh, I named there, um, except relax, relax. Um, they haven't been accused of any kind of rape or sexual assault. It's more just um, been other things, but those are still horrible, horrible things and uh, really not cool. But there are, um, I'm pretty sure, like 30, 30 people now. I'm not sure. And that's just inside the Smash community. But this has also spread over to the um, the Pokemon community as well, since... um. Whenever this stuff happens, a whole Me Too movement starts, and a lot of people who have held these emotions feel empowered and like they um they can finally say their minds, 
which I think is good. I don't think it's good to um keep these things balled up inside your body and, uh, you know, hurting you internally and uh, all that. I think it's a lot better just to um, say it as quickly as possible and uh, get it out there to the public, but some people can't do that. Um, sometimes it uh, it's scary to say things like that, and uh, you're worried about getting judged if you were raped or anything like that. So you just want to keep it to yourself and uh, try to forget about it. So um, I'm not going to say it's a good thing that this happened. Well, a lot of people have been saying it's a good thing, but I don't think good thing is a uh, is a good word. A lot of people have been saying it's a good thing that this happened because... It um, is showing all these bad people, and uh, we're clearing out the trash, as some people like to say. But I don't really think it's a good thing. I just think it's more... Um, good's kind of a, uh, a nice word. It's helpful, I guess, and uh, it's enlightening to learn about all this. And it's, um, I guess you could say, a little bit... Um, well, it, it sucks. I'm not going to try to come up with all these good words for it, because that, that's basically all it is. But anyways, back on the whole... Um, Pokemon showdown thing. This has uh, spread over with the Me Too movement to a bunch of different gaming communities. Um, Pokemon, pretty sure other things instead of um, more uh, normal games besides just Nintendo games and all that. Not really sure what they are. But um, these kind of things have um, led to the cancellation of some uh, events, like, uh, well, specifically Evo, Evo Online. A um, bunch of... Um, Smash companies or uh, uh, sponsors have dropped off these players, of course, for uh, for those. But, um, yeah, before I wrap up this video and, uh, you know, just go inside this weird spew, because I'm planning on just spewing my uh, emotions and probably looping over like a broken tape recorder, since I kind of just want to talk about this, um, I want to uh, <laughs> um, touch over the um, Pokemon showdown thing a little bit. So, um, Pokeem, um, I have to say um pokeem md is um kind of my inspiration for still doing youtube i um was just doing um youtube a little bit every once in a while trying my best to um you know have people watch my videos i liked it when someone commented even if it was a comment on just oh man your video sucks you should you know try to play this i most of the time listened to them and uh you know took their um their critique and tried my best to improve but uh, then I quit YouTube, um, since it wasn't doing anything for me, and I took like a three-month break and uh, came back at the beginning of the year. And at that time, I started watching Pokeam MD religiously. <laughs> and um, that's when I just started making Pokemon Showdown content. I just um, spammed it out. I enjoyed it so much, and I still enjoy it to this day, and I will not stop anytime soon, because a DLC for um, Pokemon Showdown, or just Pokemon Sword and Shield in general, is coming out inside of November new Pokemon, Galarian Slow, um, Slow King, and all that kind of stuff, <laughs> but, um, yeah, but anyways, um, PokeMMD, an inspiration to me, um, and a very good person that I enjoy watching, um, is, um, friends with, um, a dude by the name of PK, now he has, like, two friends, or, um, two people that he knows called PK, um, you can go on his Twitter, this is just to the best of my understanding, but one of these friends, which he has been um, connected with for a fair amount of time, pretty sure about um, nine or ten years or something, he um, was able to uh, find out, or he wasn't able to find out, um, another person came out was saying that um, Pokeam's friend, Mr. PK, um, was a, um, a groomer and um, was trying to, uh, you know, get laid with a, um, a younger person. Again, there's so many things happen right now, it's hard for me to remember um, who did what, since a lot of these are, um, I'm not going to say overlapped, but a lot of these stories are kind of the same. It's They're talking on Discord, being creepy, people are getting uncomfortable, people are trying to get lewd images or, you know, meet up, but um, yeah, yeah. Um, I feel really bad for um, all communities, especially um, Smash and uh, Pokemon, since those are the ones I'm connected to. But um, I'm very sorry to the victims. Um, I really hope you can um, find a way to cope. And if not, um, I would advise to uh, reach out to uh, people that you know, that you love, so you can uh, talk about this with them. And um, I'm not going to say get over it, but um, you know, maybe make yourself feel better. And I'm glad you got those things off your chest, since um, those are not good to uh, keep balled up inside. But um, yeah, I think that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. 
Um, I'm not going to say hope you enjoyed since um, I don't think anyone is enjoying the current state right now. Um, I should actually probably mention one thing that I am. Um, well, you know, it's kind of important. I am not going to um, like stop making um, making funny videos or keeping an interesting personality. I didn't want this video to be like super somber or anything since um, I'm not that kind of guy. I don't like making videos where I'm very quiet and uh, kind of sad and all that. Since um, I like keeping a good atmosphere, since I think if people are sad, um, unless they like respectfully um, tell you, dude, um, try to like get a little respect, be a, be a little bit more, you know, calm about it. You don't need to try to make jokes out of everything. But that's personally how I um, handle with um, bummer moments and all that. So I, uh, yeah. But I am going to be continuing to make um, showdown related videos for the months to come, and um, I won't cease on those, and I'll try to make funny thumbnails and all that kind of stuff. But with that being said, guys, um, thank you for watching. Um, hopefully this gets better, and maybe the year gets better. We're only halfway done, and uh, keep on looking for my videos.